I like big brains and I cannot lie. Those other guys can't deny when a girl walks in with a, wait, wait, hold on. Does a big brain actually mean more intelligence or does it just mean a big head? Hey guys, Julia here for DNews. You know what they say, the bigger the better, right? So does that hold up for the noggin too? Well, in a way. We like to think big brains mean more smarts, bigger is better, right? But not really. Big brains aren't unique to humans. Whales and elephants also have large noggins. Compare an average blue whale brain to an average human brain. Blue whales, 15 pounds. Average human brain, three pounds. But even though their brain is five times heavier, humans still come out on top. So what's going on? Maybe the weight of our brain isn't the right way to look at it. Maybe it's a comparison of body weight. In that case, blue whales have a relatively small brain. It's only 0.007% of its body weight. While human brains are about 2% of an average body weight. And comparing brain to body ratios, well, that still doesn't tell the whole story either. Humans have a one to 40 ratio, but that's about the same as a mouse. And elephants, which many consider to be pretty smart cookies, have small ratios, one to 560. So a really smart animal might have a large ratio, and on the other hand, a not so bright critter like the tree tree has a relatively large head compared to its body size, 1 to 10, so that's not an ideal measurement either. So researchers found a way to put humans in their rightful place on top. Well, not really. They created the encephalization quotient, which is similar to brain to body ratio, but it takes into account the fact that some parts of the brain, like the part that controls breathing, is the same across a lot of species. So the EQ also includes a comparison of similarly sized animals. The formula looks like this. And according to this measurement, humans dominate. On the high end, humans have an EQ of 7.8, elephants only 2.36, which is similar to chimps who rate at 2.5, which sort of seems right when it comes to ranking intelligence. But maybe size has less to do with intelligence than we thought. Some scientists say the EQ is not an accurate way to judge intelligence, and that other features of the brain matter more, like the development of certain parts of the brain, like the cerebral cortex, or the number of folds in the brain which increase surface area. Maybe it's the way the brain signals. One study published in the journal Nature Neuroscience found that maybe it's not the size of the brain, but the underlying structure and molecular signaling at the synapses. Synapses are the points between neurons which exchange information. The researchers examined molecular signaling across various species, like yeast, fruit, flies, and mice. They found that most species have the same proteins in the synapses, but it's the number of interactions and gene duplications of these proteins that begin to show differences in intelligence. The basic proteins found in yeast can be found throughout the brain in regular amounts, kind of like a foundation made out of bricks. But the researchers say that it's the way these proteins interact and the number of duplications that evolved into certain regions of the brain into higher thinking. So like bricks in a house, it's how many and how they're put together that make a strong building. But maybe it's the size of different regions of the brain that matter. Take a look at Einstein, for example. He's widely considered to be one of the smartest people to ever grace the planet. His brain? Not so big. It was kind of average, actually. Though there might be some evidence that his inferior parietal lobe was 15% wider than normal, and that part of the brain has been linked with mathematics and spatial processing. So what's the verdict? Size doesn't always matter, but maybe connections do. Curious about how we judge the intelligence of other animals? Check out this video from Trace on animal self-awareness. You secretly put a bit of dye or paint onto an animal's face, and then it sees a reflection, self-aware animals will go right for the paint, poking it and touching it. Non-self-aware animals won't. So what do you think? Does big mean better? Or what about speed? Does thinking faster mean smarter? Debate down in the comments below. Don't forget to hit those like and subscribe buttons and keep coming back to DNews. We've got new episodes every day of the week.